Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be solving an issue on my 2009 Corolla S Turbo that is behind me. And every once in a while I get a check engine light and the code is P00420, um, which is a code for the <clears throat> Cadillac converter. Um, it's not reading right and stuff. Well. The Cadillac converter is fine on my car, but the problem is, is it's a performance cat um, with the turbo system. So every once in a while, it warms up at a different rate than what the OEM one did, and it'll trigger a code. Now I have a scan gauge three in the car. I can scan it right while I'm driving and clear it, so it's it's never a big deal. But I've got this little guy right here that will solve that problem and stop giving me the air, air codes in the beak to start with, so let me show you what we're gonna do with this. So here is the factory O2 sensor right here. Kinda of pulled this back and it goes through a hole here, as you can see, up into the floor, plan, floor pan of the driver's uh, floor, there where your feet are. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it from the inside here so that I can undo it here. And then I will go ahead and install this and it will stop giving me erroneous signals from my cat right here. Um, and uh, we'll be all set. So let me show you where this connection is on the inside. If you guys like stuff like this, how to things and whatnot, hey, please give me a, a like, subscribe. I sure would appreciate it. Only about 5% of people subscribe that watch my videos, so I sure would love to get that a little bit higher. So here we are in the car. Excuse the mess here. I haven't vacuumed it in a while, but I pulled out the floor mat. And so the that hole is somewhere in this area. So I want to peel, pop this off, this little panel. Just give a little pop. There's a guide pin right there. And that goes into, you see that rectangular hole in the metal there. And that goes in there as a guide. And then it just snaps into these two holes. So, but let's go ahead and pull this, pull this back. Let's get some light on the subject. And, oh, and there it is right there. So, Here's the, here's the cord and here's the connection right here. So I just need to disconnect this, feed the wire down through the uh, floor, and then I can go ahead and change that out. So let me get that undone real quick. I'll need both hands. So I got the connector done. There's actually just a little tab right on the bottom of this one. As you can see right there, I just pushed up right there with a flathead screwdriver and it popped out. So now I can go underneath and pull it out. And there's our, there's our cord. So now it is free. There's a, it's connected to a tab right there. So I will disconnect that so that the cord can spin. Oh, what I was trying to do actually wasn't it. There's a little metal tab right here and it just slides right on and off it. Okay, well, that's even easier, so. Okay. Now that that is free, we will turn our attention to getting off the O2 sensor. I actually have two different types of sockets that I use for O2 sensors. And O2 sensor sockets have this cutout in them so you can get it around the wire. So like that, and still get your <coughs> wrench on it. 
So I've got an offset one like this. So sometimes it just depends on what position it's in and the angle you're trying to get it into. So I think that my normal one should work okay for this job. Get that on there. See if I need something with a little more leverage or not. Sometimes these suckers can be a bugger. Ah, yeah, let's get, let's get something with a little more leverage. So I put a little bit of anti-seize on the threads. Let's go ahead and thread this bugger on there. Get a hold of that. Oh, oh no, not quite. So this adjustable. Collar there is nice. So, and I want to, I want to do this pointing backwards so that I don't hook the the uh, wire or anything. I'm hoping that that will work out better. Okay, Let me get just a rip here. in there nice and steady. I ended up applying a little bit of heat to it and once I applied the heat then it came off very nicely. So sometimes you gotta do something like that. So. Okay, I'll snug this down. Okay. Alrighty. Now I'm going to feed this up, back up through. You can feel the carpet right there. Okay. this up into it. There we go. And kind of pull down to seat it. There we go. Now, because of the addition of, of this right here, this won't, um, this little clip won't reach that, but, um, but that's okay. That's okay. It's, um, it's not loose where it's going to be flapping in the wind or anything. So. And this covering right here protects the wires when they make a U-turn into the sensor. So, yeah. So that's all finished under there. I guess theoretically I could put a little, uh, I might do that little dollop of RTV or something like that just to just to hold that right there that might not be a bad idea but let's go upstairs and reconnect it so here I pulled back the carpet right from the door and just to be able to show you guys so there's the there's the hole and you can see the cable coming up from there so now I just need to kind of feed it up that sharp bend in the carpet right there. It wants to get caught up on. Okay. Now, there's 
There's our connector. Go ahead and snap that back into place. Okay. Now, that is good. I'm just going to reach my hand underneath the carpet and make sure that that cord is flat. Yes. Until it kind of fell back into position where it laid before. There we go. Perfect. So, you slide this into that slot. And then these two. Snap in like that. Perfection. And then this one is the corner piece here. There's a little stud that goes around. snaps along like so. And just push down until you hear it click. There we go. So, this is the job finished. All in, connected on the upside. Now this uh, what they call a defouler um, extension here will prevent that from going off all the time and showing a lean code when it really wasn't. So, and it's just because this cat heats up at a much different rate and it doesn't do it all the time. It's just every once in a while, but, and it wasn't that big a deal, but as I could clear it in a few seconds, but now I don't have to worry about it. Here is my one for the, my air fuel ratio meter, which I almost don't even need now because for my gauge, because I've, it's on my scan gauge too, I, I can read that. So, oh here, I'll give you a little peek. Cause I'm not under here very often. So but there's the there's the turbocharger. Turbocharged Corolla baby. So anyway, all done for this job. Any questions or comments, please holler. And until next time guys, we'll see you down the road.